theoretical yield and percent yield explained by me, Chemical Kim. Let's make chocolate chip cookies. One of the ingredients in chocolate chip cookies is baking soda, also known as sodium bicarbonate. Its chemical formula is NaHCO3. When we bake cookies, the baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, decomposes when temperatures rise above 80 degrees Celsius or 176 degrees Fahrenheit, as shown in the chemical equation. Let's perform an experiment to show evidence of this decomposition reaction. We're going to start with baking soda, which is sodium bicarbonate, put it into a dish, and take the mass. We start with 4.20 grams of sodium bicarbonate. Providing heat energy, sodium bicarbonate decomposes into sodium carbonate, which is a solid, water and carbon dioxide, which are gases. So to do the decomposition reaction, we heat it up and we produce a product, solid product. We start with the sodium bicarbonate in the experiment and the start reactant mass of this sodium bicarbonate is 4.20 grams. After the decomposition, we made sodium carbonate, which is the finished product, and we find that to be 2.60 grams. This is data found by experiment. We call the actual yield the 2.60 grams. We now have experimental data to determine one, the theoretical yield, two, the percent yield. Theoretical yield is a stoichiometric calculation. We're going to start with the 4.20 grams of the reactant mass of the sodium bicarbonate. Step one is to convert 4.20 grams of the sodium bicarbonate to moles of sodium bicarbonate by using the molar mass of sodium bicarbonate. Step two, we're going to convert moles of sodium bicarbonate to moles of sodium carbonate using the balanced equation and we see the mole ratio is one mole sodium carbonate to two moles of sodium bicarbonate. Step three, we convert moles of sodium carbonate to grams of sodium carbonate using the molar mass of sodium carbonate. And this gives us the theoretical yield. So the theoretical yield we found to be 2.65 grams of sodium carbonate. We can calculate the percent yield, which is the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield times 100. The actual yield was 2.60 grams. The theoretical yield was 2.65 grams. We get a 98.1% yield. In conclusion, the theoretical yield is the product amount determined by calculation. The actual yield is the product amount determined by experiment. Both values should match, but due to experimental error, they don't. The percent yield is the ratio of the actual yield to the theoretical yield. We got a 98.1% yield.
Not bad. So now you know the next time you eat your chocolate chip cookies, Think of decomposing baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, and calculating theoretical and percent yield.